Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kevin the Tech Ninja. So this video, I'm gonna talk about two different robot vacuum cleaners for two different needs from Shark. We have one that is made for vacuuming and mopping, and we have one that is self-cleaning and it has a built-in HEPA filter. And of course, we'll dive into that very soon. Now, Shark is sponsoring this video. Basically, they wanted me to just kind of give you guys an idea of what Shark has to offer in this landscape of robot vacuum cleaners. If that works for you, Kevin the Tech Ninja here, and let's dive in. So the core of both of these robot vacuum cleaners are very similar. The technology inside and how it navigates, extremely similar. But what makes them different is what they're made for. So they both use next gen navigation like LiDAR and AI laser mapping technology. So it can scan your environments, your surroundings and continuously adapt to your home while cleaning. It will avoid and detect any objects in its path and avoid no-go zones, which you can configure on the Shark Clean application available on both Android and iOS. Now for me, I think the application is truly the centerpiece of what we see here, and it is the way you interact with the Shark robots. There's something called ultra clean mode. So when you're using the app, you can target specific rooms, high traffic zones, or spots. If you set this up, the robot can travel to that precise location on demand, increases suction power, and clean in multiple directions so you get a deeper clean in that specific place. For extra customization, you can set the robot to clean on demand, but you can tell it, say, hey, I need you to clean this spot right now, or you can have it on a schedule, which is the way I use it. And when it's on a schedule, it feels like the robot is part of your smart home. So if you leave the house every day at a certain time, you can have the robot vacuum cleaner to start cleaning up after you leave the house, and then you come back home with a clean floor, which I think is really cool. You can also use it with your voice assistant services. And the ones that it works with, I'll leave below because that list can obviously change over time. Now, the nice part about having an app is that you can always stay on top of what's happening with cleaning around the house. You can see cleaning reports, you can set vacuum suction levels, and you can get notified when your vacuum has updates and all the new features that comes to the vacuum with updates. The app also is catered to which robot you have. So for example, if you have the vac mop, then it tells you the levels of the liquid. I guess since we're talking about the vac mop, let's highlight a few key features that makes it different. Like I mentioned before, it has mopping technology. So naturally you do get extra accessories specific to mopping in the box with some pads and a hard floor cleaner. So here, the robot can mop your floors at the same time as vacuuming, but it also has a feature that helps it avoid carpets. It's called the in-app carpet avoidance. That feature definitely comes in handy if you have hardwood floor that is near carpet. You don't want it going over the carpet and making your carpet wet because it's mopping and scrubbing at the same time. So when it's mopping and it detects carpet, it goes back to the hard surface to continue scrubbing. It's also using sonic mopping technology. And with this, the vacuum is using high speeds for around 100 scrubs per minute. And it's really effective at getting up stains on hard surfaces. Let's talk about the self-emptying robot. Like I mentioned before, it has a self-empty base for the robot and it comes with a HEPA filter that traps pretty much all the dust and allergens down to three microns. And the base can hold up to 60 days worth of dust and debris, so vacuuming becomes much easier with minimal input from the user. And to be honest, that has been super convenient for me because it automates things even more for myself. I don't find myself having to go out and empty it out every two or three days like I, like I typically do with, with other ones. Haven't had it for 60 days yet, but it's still going strong and I still use it to clean my floors and then from there, it just empties itself back out and it's ready to go clean again. So that is a look at both of the Shark AI Robot Self Empty and the AI Robot Vac Mop. With similar core functionality, it comes down to what gives you the most convenience. If you're looking for an automatic experience without mopping, the robot self-empty may be the way to go, but if you're looking for something with mopping built in specifically, you definitely have to take a look at the AI robot vac mop. And there it is, guys. That is everything you need to know about the two robot vacuum cleaners from Shark. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. 
Kevin the Tech Ninja here. Have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you folks later. Peace.